If you want some interior design inspiration, look no further than the carpet shark. He would look great in my living room. Also known as the wabagong, you can find this sea creature in the Southwest Pacific Ocean. They're not what you'd call an accent piece. Carpet sharks hang out among the coral reefs of Australia where they blend right into the scenery. If you think that name sounds familiar, you might have seen the viral photo of this grinning guy floating around the internet, but you shouldn't believe everything you see online. That's actually a goosefish. They're easy to mistake for wabagongs because they have similar hunting strategies and camouflage techniques. But goosefish have a broader face and are a type of anglerfish found in deeper waters. Okay, so now that we've set the record straight, what's the deal with the wabagong anyway? Their name comes from the Australian Aboriginal language and translates to shaggy beard. They're solitary animals that spend most of their time in murky waters where they can blend in with the surroundings. Little is known about the wabagong. They're shy and reclusive. Even if they wanted to speak up, they can't. The wabagong has no vocal cords. They're silent but deadly. Because the fringes around their body make them masters of disguise that prey doesn't notice on the ocean floor, they can basically sit around for hours and wait for their dinner to come to them. When the time is right, the shark will suddenly propel themselves forward and their fang-like teeth will pierce their prey like needles. Another trick up the wabagong sleeve, or fin I guess, is mimicry. Slowly, they wave their tail in the water, copying the movements of the surrounding fish. This gives its target the false impression that other fish are swimming in the area, making it appear safe for them. Then, snap! The deceitful carpet shark has scored another meal. Octopuses, crabs, and lobsters are the preferred cuisine of the wabagong. Pretty refined palate. They've even been known to take down other sharks, some even bigger than they are. It's a sharky shark world out there. The wabagong can also walk across the ocean floor. Well, sort of. The carpet shark is sort of magic, almost like a magic carpet. Anyway, they use their pectoral and pelvic fins to hover just above the ground, which gives the illusion of walking rather than swimming. This allows them to move from one rock to another undetected. At night, they use the cover of darkness to further protect themselves from being seen. Very stealthy. When they're born, a carpet shark measures about 20 centimeters long. They stick with their mother for about a year, but despite those tassels, mom isn't the warm and friendly type. Instead, it's expected that the young sharks must fend for themselves. They hunt and learn about life on the reef on their own, even though they stick close to mom. Full grown, a carpet shark can be about two meters and weigh up to 70 kilograms. That is one ocean floor decor item you wouldn't want to mess with. Pretty impressive, but still puny compared to the prehistoric megalodon who used to rule the seas. We have a video all about them if you're curious. I think I'll stick with the carpet shark. They're kind of cute. Camouflaging into the ocean floor and sneaking up on unsuspecting prey is what carpet sharks do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.